Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Harry from Hasper TV and I'm back with another video. Now, I hope you've all had a good Christmas. So as you noticed, I didn't actually do a video over the Christmas period. Um, we're kind of coming to the end of it now anyway, and New Year's on the horizon. But I'm gonna quickly talk about the Everton game. <laughs> um, coming from me, who is a very big supporter of John Dyche, um, the struggle against Everton wasn't a surprise to me. Um, I think Everton gave it as good as it got and they could have really they deserved the point against us, to be honest, at home to Everton. Um, and Spurs were quite lucky in the end to win 2-1 against Everton. But of course, we'll take that and we'll move on to the next game, which is Brighton away. Now, of course, there's some injury news. Romero is out for four to five weeks. This time, it's not an actual suspension. He's actually injured. News flash. Um, so, yeah, we'll, again, Spurs will have a makeshift defence away to Brighton this time. And I expect someone like Emerson to... I would have said Emerson, right? But Emerson is going to be playing left-back. Well, actually, you know what? He might put him at centre-back. So I think he'll probably put Emerson with Davies in the middle of defence again. We'll have four full-backs again, because the Dogie's back from the suspension. And then you've got, obviously, Poro on the right, who is probably the most long-standing defender in that defence this season um, due to injuries and suspensions. So he's probably played, I think, every game, from what I can recall. Maybe he missed that one. But yeah, so I think he'll probably go for Emerson. For them, Emerson. I mean, Dara is a possibility considering we'll be playing away from home, but is that really the best choice? But if I'm being honest, I'd rather he put one of the youngsters, either Phillips or Dorrington, in that defence away to Brighton. I know it's a tough game, but they need the baptism, baptism of fire. Sorry. <laughs> Obviously, in midfield is another sort of dilemma. He could put the Celso in and shift Kulisevsky wide right and move Johnson to the left. But I fully expect him to go with the normal, I say normal, at this point it is kind of normal because Madison is injured. I think Heiberg will probably come in for Skip because Skip, I mean, you kind of have to rotate somehow. So you're going to have to put Heiberg or Skip and just for the sake of fact, playing three days later or a few days later, I'd probably put in Heiberg. So Heiberg, Saar, who he kind of has to play Saar because Suma's obviously suspended way back till February and... I don't see Hoiberg and Skip away to Brighton, so Hassar has to play again before he goes to AFCON. And then Kulisewski is a number 10 again, which is, again, stuff I've been championing since game week one. Now on the right, Johnson's going to play 100%. And Son, before he goes to the Asia Cup, will play on the left. And Richardson, of course, will carry on playing up front with four goals and three games. Now, how do I see this game going? As I predicted on South few I think it will be 2-2 or 1-1 or... Something like that. I think it's a tough place to go. And if Spurs win, are going to have to grind out a result. I mean, people forget that Spurs went with Conte and won one nil there last season. I think it was Harry Kane who scored. Correct. So someone correct me if I'm wrong. And yeah, so I think it'll be something like that. It'll be a tough match. I mean, Brighton have been quite inconsistent this season. Um, I think Evan Ferguson's back from Matoma's missing, which is quite a big blow for them. Lamp team, Matoma, especially Matoma, who would have caused us a lot of problems, I think, down that side. Um, Lamptey down the right and obviously Matoma down the left. So we might get a bit of joy in the wide areas tomorrow. But it's going to be a tough game. Brighton never easy to play against. Like we scraped the result. And yeah, we we could win. It's very possible we could win. But it's going to be a very tough match. And a draw is not the worst result. But it, let's just see how it goes. This period is probably the toughest period for Spurs this season because of the lack of squad depth. And I think the centre-half pairing tomorrow will be quite telling considering Brighton's style. I mean, at least they're not kind of team who play long balls as much. They're more, I guess, on the on the feet, on the feet, sorry. And more tiki-taka, I guess. So it might play into our favour to play, em play Emerson instead of Dyer, but I'd rather see one of the youngsters. I'd rather see Dorrington or even Phillips giving a go alongside Davies because this season, to me, is still like a free hit. Um, if we lose tomorrow, I won't be like the end of the world. I'll be unhappy, of course, but... Give the youngster a go. Give Phillips or Dorrington a go. I don't really want to see Emerson or Dyer playing there. We might have a sneaky feeling Dyer will probably play. <laughs> Unfortunately, all our, and ironically, actually, it's quite interesting. All of our captains are now out for the first time. So Madison's always has a long-term thing. And Romero is a, is a long-term thing. Again, now with four to five weeks, obviously Madison might not be back till next year. The way it's going. I th yeah, so we're missing all our, And obviously Sonny. We're not missing him yet, but in January, we'll miss on. 
So all our captains are gone. So now it comes to the point where Son has to step up tomorrow as like a leader because there's no one else there. It's, he has to galvanise them to get a result. Even a 1-0 I'll take. But anyway, it's going to be a long game. 7.30 tomorrow. <laughs> At least the Arsenal games are afterwards. So hopefully Moyes can do a job over there. But yeah, so come on you Spurs.